welcome uh, now we will learn about economizer economizer is a device that the waste heat of the combustion chamber that is supposed to be discharged to the atmosphere through the chimney is utilized for heating the feed water so now the question is why economizer is required or why economizer is important the first thing is to use waste heat carried over by exhaust gases and also to raise the temperature of the feed water supplied to the boiler fuel saving to improve the economy of the boiler plant so three purposes are served by an economizer the waste heat can be utilized the feed water temperature can be increased and deep due to this there is some savings or economy of the fuel so we can say economizer is a device in which waste heat of the fuel gases is utilized for heating the feed water to recover some of the heat being carried over by exhaust gases and this heat is used to raise the temperature of feed water supplied to the boiler as a result of this fuel saving is possible which improves the economy of the boiler plant and that is why it is called economizer because the recovery of additional heat improves the economy of the boiler plant now the question is what should be the location or position of the economizer so it is placed in the path of the flue gases in between the exit from the boiler and entry to the air preheater so if a air preheater is used the product of combustion goes to the chimney and in between if air preheater is used the economizer is placed before the air preheater and if there is no air preheater then the position of economizer is between the chimney and the exit of the combustion chamber now let us understand the construction of an economizer this is a 3d model of an economizer and this is also called the green's economizer so green's economizer consists of two headers one is bottom header and the other is the top header this is the bottom header and this is the stop valve and this is the blow off cock this is another stop valve and, and this is the safety valve at the top header the hot gases moves across the vertical tubes yes actually there are some horizontal tubes and some vertical tubes this horizontal tubes we can say the sub headers which are connected to the main headers yes these are the two main headers one is top header and the other is the bottom header water moves from bottom to top through this vertical tubes and these vertical tubes are exposed to the hot gases passing from the combustion chamber to the chimney yes uh, the headers or tubes are placed like this now we can see the hot gases moves from one side to another through these openings yes these are the scrapers that moves up and down with the help of the chain and pulley arrangement and since this scraper moves up and down on the outer surface of the vertical tubes the soot particles that are deposited on the surface of the tubes 
are removed and those are deposited at the bottom that is that chamber and that chamber is called chute chamber. This way the scraper moves with the help of chain and pulley arrangement. This is chute chamber. So this is the complete view of the Green's economizer. These two doors, one door is connected towards the combustion chamber side and the another door is connected towards the chimney side. So the hot gases move from the combustion chamber to the chimney and these hot gases are the responsible for heating the water inside the vertical tubes. This is a diagram of Green's economizer. The Green's economizer consists of a group of vertical cast iron tubes. This is the bottom header that means water feed water comes to the bottom header. Then the feed water goes up to the top header which is situated at the top. This we can say sub bottom header because there are some horizontal tubes and all the horizontal tubes are connected to the bottom header. So this is one of the horizontal tube which we can say bottom sub header are connected to the bottom header and this we can say the top sub header. These are the horizontal tubes at the top and all these horizontal tubes are connected to the top header. Anyway, water from bottom header moves up to the top header through these vertical tubes. And while the water enters into the bottom header, there must be one valve which is called the stop valve. At the top there is another valve which is also a stop valve that is for the hot water and this bottom one is for the cold water. Cold water enters into the bottom header and cold water moves up to the top header through the vertical tubes and this top valve is for the top header or warm water or you can say hot water. Then this is the blow of cock. Like a boiler also there must be some provision for blow off because the sediments may be deposited at the bottom of the bottom header and those sediments or mud can be cleaned by blowing off this cock and therefore there should be one blow of cock at the bottom hot header. And this is the safety valve like a boiler also so this is like a water tube boiler actually the, because water is passing through the tubes and if the temperature of the water increases there may be development of higher pressure and that is why a safety valve must be there because the pressure inside the economizer is same as that of the pressure inside the boiler so there should be one safety valve also. And these are the vertical tubes that connects the top header and the bottom header. And these are the scrapers. The hot gases moves like this. Therefore, the soot particles or carbon may be deposited on the outer surface of the vertical tubes as well as horizontal tubes of course. And those can be cleaned with the help of the scrapers which moves up and down with the help of this chain and pulley arrangement. So these scrapers moves up and down and therefore the vertical tubes are continuously cleaned and the soot particles are settled or down at the bottom and this is called the soot chamber from which these soot particles or S can be removed from time to time or periodically. So this is front view and this is side view. From side view you can see the bottom subheader and top subheader and in the front view both bottom and top subheaders are hidden in this view and therefore this is the top header and this is bottom header. The subheader is connected to the main header. So let me summarize. This type of economizer is 
called the Green's Economizer. And Green's Economizer consists of a group of vertical cast iron tubes. So these are the vertical cast iron tubes. And these vertical cast iron tubes are fitted between the top and bottom header. Bottom header and top header. For safety against high pressure, a safety valve is mounted on the top of the header. This is safety valve. Like boiler, it has also a blow of valve fitted at the bottom to discharge sediments collected at the bottom of the economizer. This is the blow of cock. Now scrapers are provided on the tubes to remove the soot of flue gas deposited on the tubes of the economizer. So these are the scrapers that moves up and down with the help of chain and pulley arrangement and they removes the soot particles deposited on the vertical tubes. And these suits are deposited at the bottom of the economizer, which is called suit chamber. There are two stop valves, one at the bottom header, this one, and another at the top header, this one. And these are provided, these stop valves are provided to stop or allow water into and out of the economizer, respectively. Now, the working of an economizer, better to say the Green's economizer, the feed water from the feed pump first enters the bottom header. This header is the bottom header. So the feed water, feed waters enter into the bottom header. From the bottom header, the water then passes through the horizontal subheaders and then through the vertical tubes and reaches it to the top headers. You can see these are the horizontal subheaders. These are vertical tubes connecting the horizontal bottom subheader to the horizontal top subheader. And ultimately the water moves up from the bottom header to the top header. This is the top header from which hot water will go to the boiler. And at the same time, hot flue gases moves from one direction to others where the actual heat transfer takes place. Hot gases from combustion chamber moves to chimney. And during this time, the heat transfer takes place. And because of that, while the water is moving from bottom head header to the top headers, the water is heated to some extent. And this hot water or warm water is used as feed water for the boiler. While the economizer is in operation of water heating, the scrapers provided on the tubes are moved up and down continuously with the help of chain and gear arrangement so that soot deposited on the pipes may be removed. So the soot particles should be deposited over which can be removed from time to time. Now let us discuss advantages of having an economizer in a boiler. First, with an economizer, it increases the thermal efficiency of the boiler plant by utilizing waste heat saving in fuel. Number two, hot feed water causes increase in evaporative capacity because hot water inside the boiler coming from the economizer, evaporation become faster. Longer life of the boiler as this reduces the temperature difference between different parts of the boiler. If the cold water enters into the inside the boiler, and at the same time, at the other end, the boiler material is exposed to high temperature. So there is a temperature difference within the material and that may decrease the life of the boiler materials. If the pre feed water is preheated in the 
economizer, then the some dissolved solids may deposit it and with the help of blow of cup dose can be removed from time to time. And also dissolved gases like carbon dioxide may also be removed by preheating the feed water and that reduces the corrosion or pitting because if the carbon dioxide is present in the water and that forms the carbonic acid so this acidic environment may enhance the corrosion processes and that is eliminated by using the preheated water inside the boiler. There is one disadvantage of having an economizer and that is related to natural drought because it reduces natural drought as it obstructs the passage of flow gases. You can see the hot gases from the combustion chamber goes to the chimney and in between there is the obstruction of the economizer pipes and they obstruct the flow of hot gases that means it decreases the pressure difference or drop because in a natural drop system the pressure difference is very small and out of that small pressure difference a part of the pressure is lost due to this obstruction of the economizer pipes so Today we have discussed about the economizer, basically the Green's economizer having some horizontal subheaders that are connected to the main header and actually there are two headers, one is bottom header to which the cold water enters and the, at the top that is the top header that is connected to the boiler and the water from bottom header to the top header moves vertically through some vertical tubes and those tubes are exposed to the hot gases coming out from the boiler and ultimately it enters into the chimney and during this time the heat transfer takes place and the cold water is heated to some extent and those cold water is sent to the boiler as a boiler feed water so thank you for watching